Our trial was the first for uh, for patients with uh, with who had had prior uh, prior treatment for their metastatic disease. So. Um, so what we were reporting this week was that at MD Anderson from the single institution, we saw responses in five of 18 patients. The response rate was around 28%. Um, and uh, with the single agent nivolumab, which is the antibody against uh, PD-1. Of the 18 patients, um, 16 offered to participate in the study. We were able to get 12 baseline uh, samples that were adequate for analysis, and uh, nine pa patients were able to ha give us paired biopsies where we had both uh, adequate tissue for both the pretreatment and on treatment studies samples. Um, and what we saw was that uh, in the patients who responded, at baseline they had higher levels of uh, CD8 positive cells and they also had higher levels of uh, Granzyme B as well. And, what this ex and that was by immunohistochemistry. And what that suggested to us is that although the numbers are small for these patients with metastatic anal cancer, they have uh, higher levels of activated T cells at baseline, and this may be associated with an eventual response to nivolumab. We also looked at the PD-1, PD-L1 axis as well, and we found that by immunohistochemistry, uh, <coughs> patients uh, who, re who responded had higher levels of PD-1, but uh, on their uh, uh, on the, they had higher levels of PD-1, but also had higher levels of PD-L1 on uh, the tumor cells as well.